Today we will be making a scarecrow, so let's get started. The first thing that we'll want to do is we will want to make a curved line. Right underneath that curved line, we're going to make another curved line. And then we're going to close those two lines up with very small lines like that. On top of this first line that we drew, we're going to make a hat. And so we're going to make a line that's kind of curvy like this. Underneath here, what we're going to do is we are going to make our scarecrow's face. So we're going to make a nice round face that looks like this. If yours is not as round as this, that's okay. Just do the best that you can. Now we're going to make some eyes for our scarecrow. If you'd like to make some eyebrows, you can go ahead and do that. And then we'll make a nose, a little triangle. And then let's make a mouth, a smiling mouth with two circles at the end. Through this line, this curved line, let's make some stitch marks, some little lines. And then let's give our scarecrow a little bit of hair. So if you can think of a way that you like to make hair, go ahead and do that. I'm just going to make some curved lines coming out from the bottom of his hat. Now down here below, we're going to make our scarecrow a collar. So just a line that looks similar to this. Yours is not going to look exactly like mine, and that's okay. And then we're going to make a line coming out this way and a line coming out this way. These are going to be the shoulders and arms of our scarecrow. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the shirt. So let's come up with a slanted line and let's come up with another slanted line and then we'll come straight down. Now what we're going to do is we are going to put some overalls on our scarecrow. So those are just going to be some lines coming down like this. All the way down to the end of your paper. And then if you'd like to put some buttons here or a patch, you can go ahead and do that. I think I'm going to put some buttons. Maybe I'll put a patch here with a couple of stitches on each side of it. And maybe I'll even put a patch up here. A patch is just a piece of fabric that holds together other pieces of fabric. Alrighty, so for the background, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a line, not a super straight line like this, and maybe I'll even put, I just had the best idea, I think I'm going to put some pumpkins down here. So I have a circle, and then I put a little stem on them, and then I'll put some lines. I'll put a couple over here on this side as well, maybe two smaller ones. So we can see that our scarecrow is in a pumpkin patch. Maybe I'll put one right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a crow or a bird on the shoulder of our scarecrow. So a bird can be any shape that you want. So it can be a shape like this, or it can be just an oval shape, or it can be more of a square shape. It's completely up to you. But let's make our bird stand on the shoulder of our scarecrow. Let's make sure we give him an eye and a beak and a little wing and maybe a little crown for the top of his head. And even if you'd like to make a little tail coming out the back, that's always cute. For the background, I think I'll put a few clouds in the sky behind him. Maybe one more small one up here. When I'm drawing like this, I like to use all of my space. 
Now take a look at your drawing and see if there's anything else that you'd like to add on your scarecrow. You know what? I think I'm going to add some cheeks right here. I like that. All right. Have a good day. I'll see you next time. Bye.